Yo, what's up guys? It's Peter here, and I'm here with another video of a new project I'm working on. Um, it is called, um, <laughs> sorry my bad, Mobile Passport. And this is actually probably solving a problem that most of you guys may be coming into. And I kind of took care of it, and I'm going to show it to you guys. So most of you guys are probably wondering, how do I get Passport.js to work on mobile? Um, so yeah, this is uh, what I've done. It is all running on a Node.js server. Uh, I'll pull that up here. These are all the routes, so I'm gonna break it down. Here at the login, it's a simple post request that will turn in actual um, JSON data telling you if you're logged in or not. And I will actually save that onto the device. And you can actually sign up, but that's using a put request. So yeah, here we have uh, get. So if you wanted to search a user by their ID, here in the uh, URL parameters, you can insert um, the user's ID. Now this isn't gonna be convenient for any normal person, it's just for development purposes. For example, if you have an array of data and that array of data inside an adapter holds, um, holds that um, ID in the container and you want like an intent to look for a user, yeah, you could do that. Or if you have a comment section, for example, most social medias, uh, media sites um, actually use IDs in case someone, for example, changes their username, they could search um, and query that data in the database via the ID because the ID is something that is kind of permanent on an object and doesn't change unless the administrator of the database decides to mess around with that. Here, uh, you actually have a get, re get request, very really much like the ID, but here you actually have um, the username the username right here um, inside the URL parameters and that will actually return JSON data uh, the user's name email pass uh, well not password my bad and anyways the passwords are hash using MD5 but yeah and um, if you are logged in um, it will turn in user slash profile if you do the get request um, you must be logged in um, so that request must come first if successfully done and then here you have a post request which allows you to change your username, password, email, or name. So I'm gonna, oh yeah, and one more thing, two more things actually. Uh, App.delete, uh, it's a delete request that deletes, your, de deletes you if you type this in underneath the delete request and this will log you out. So let's all see it inside the actual Android app. And if you're wondering, and for iOS, I'm gonna make a second video for iOS. My friend and I are working on the iOS version, but the Android version is complete. It is all on GitHub, and the uh, repository will be in the description with all the instructions and all the essential things you'll need to know in the README file. All right. So right here, let's just unlock that. And yeah, we're just gonna log in. Voila. So here, uh, this is my profile information. As you can see, my name is Pepe the Frog. Um, that's kind of a joke, I'm gonna show you that you can change it. Um, this is my username, Peter, and the email that I have inside. Um, and that is my profile picture. The, I, I did not have the images stored via inside Mongo. Rather, I use Gravatar, if you guys know what that is. And Gravatar, um, this is my Gravatar profile picture. Um, as I said, there was a search feature, so I'm gonna show you that. I'm gonna show you guys the search feature. So, I got my boy David, um, who I wanna look for, and he's kinda on this thing. So, let's just see, let's type in his username. My bad. And, voila, that's, uh, that's David. That seems to be David, so yeah. Um, let's go back. And here at the side, we have a nice little UI navigation drawer kind of thing and uh, we can access the settings whoa uh, that's that's kind of our user data but uh, I don't really like the name Pepe the Frog so why not just change it to my actual legal name or something so uh, yeah that sounds nice oh my my account was updated if I want to go back here voila this is a uh, mobile passport and thank you for watching feel free 
if you need any help, contact me on Twitter. Um, you can contact me via email or um, make a request on GitHub. Um, my 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 contact information is all out there. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, good luck.